Yes, dear. Yeah, an odd question. What oh. is it? Because some speeches are inherently emotional. Where is the place for natural tears in the speech? Seriously? Yep. Is that your question? Yep. Wherever they come. Okay, because if you are emotional in front of people, if you are willing to be vulnerable with your path, your process, then so be it. Because there is not a person alive who has not wept. So if you are moved to tears by what you are communicating and how you are connecting with the people you're speaking to, then they will understand that. And that will be magic because you will be so intimately connected at that point that it won't matter. And in fact, you'll be celebrated for it. So I think if you are crying when you're up on stage, and I have, there are songs I can't sing. Okay, there's a song called The Last of the Great Whales or The, the Last Leviathan about the last clown of Oscar crying. Just talking about it. Um, about the, they were going to see. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, it's, it's told from the point of view of the whale, who is, who is, he's the last of them, and he is being hunted to extinction, and this is what happens whenever you talk about it. And Come I can't... Come back. That's right. That's, so, so, I can't sing that song, because I can't get through it. Because, as you can tell, this is what happens when I just even talk about it. So, I know that about myself, and I know that that's one song I will never sing. If I try, I'll be a blubbering mess. So, and that's not singing, that's no longer communication, that's me being a blubbering mess. So part of it is you have to know yourself and what, what is most important about what you're trying to say, but if tears come, I think that is you being authentic and more power to you.